Hi guys, welcome back to the channel in another snake video. This time, something really special. The Asclepian snake, a European species, and I think what makes it really special for us in the UK, where we get very few wild species of reptiles, and where our climate doesn't suit keeping a lot of stuff outdoors, really. It is one of those species that could and can be kept outdoors in outdoor enclosures in the UK, and if done correctly, will even brumate, hibernate through the winter out in its enclosure. There's three populations living in Britain for many, many years. So that just goes to prove it will live outside here in the UK. Mine currently have always been kept indoors. They're just too small to make it worthwhile or easy to keep outdoors. But the plan has always been if they top out at two meters as they can, or let's, let's face it, half that size, Building them an outdoor enclosure is massively on the cards and was and is always the plan. But my goodness me, Asclepian snakes, they are so slow growing. Uh, mine are, and many people I talk to are, I think in the wild, you're looking at five or six years before they reach maturity compared to, you know, my black-headed pythons. I think they were breeding around two years old. So, you know, some snakes grow really fast. These are picky feeders. They've been slow feeders. And to be honest, they don't like excessive heat and I think mine are eating better now than ever that it's winter and they're around 20 to 22 degrees centigrade than through the summer because my reptile room is space heated. It does warm up in the summer and it can get to around 28 or even more degrees centigrade and it's just too hot for them. They becoming active and hide away. Beautiful snakes, incredible personalities. I don't think you'd find a more gentle, benign species of relatively large colubrid snake. They just won't bite. And in a minute, when you see their faces, they're just so cute and endearing. They don't even look like they'd be a predator. They are that amazing to look at. Enjoy the video. It's gonna be a little bit different from normal. I'm just gonna film the snakes close up and talk to you about them. There's no point me presenting them. It'll be like me holding a worm and you really will just have to look at my ugly mug. And that's not fair on you. Enjoy. So they've got a completely naturalistic enclosure. They were kept in small plastic type tubs, if you like, when they were younger, because they were small. They look very much like um, grass snakes, natrix, as youngsters, a very prominent yellow net band. And it's gradually fading as they change, gradually, gradually into their adult colors. They were quite small. So they were kept in a small enclosure, but a long time now, they've been in this semi-naturalistic setup. These aren't European plants, skin dapsus. They're just tough plants to use in vivariums up there. Pretty much full spectrum and UV lighting because the enclosure came with it. But they do seem to enjoy lighting. They will come up here and bath because of course this isn't giving off a great deal of heat here. It's warmer and they'll bask upon this top lip. But much of the time, they'll be hidden away as you'd expect most small snakes to be. So let's just have a look inside. Having plants in here means you've always got a certain amount of humidity. The substrate is queer and that's kept just damp. And they have, of course, got somewhere in there. Let's go through. You can probably see it, a small water dish that they can curl up in. But semi-naturalistic. Asculapian snakes absolutely love to climb. They are built and designed for climbing. Plenty of things to climb up. As I said, good lip on there. Plenty of ventilation in here as well. It's not humid as in sweaty and dripping, but having natural plants does keep some humidity in there. And of course, a nice background like this means they can really use the whole vivarium. When mine eventually progress outdoors in an outdoor enclosure, I, at the moment envisage it be sealed with perspex and fine mesh and it will be mounted or rather built against a south facing wall and it will certainly be at least six foot two meters high because they really do like to climb they'll raid birds nests in the wild as well as eat rodents on the ground so simple simple setup almost never clean this out it's pretty much bioactive the plants did the work really spot clean only and they're thriving in there, just growing slowly. No 
extra heating. The room is warm enough. And up here, of course, it provides just a small extra increase in that temperature for a gradient. Just have a look at this amazing creature. Now I thought in a bit of cork tube from their enclosure, I thought I'd got them both in there, but I hadn't. This is a normal color, normal phase. Its mate is a dark, dark individual. Melanistic Asculapian snake. I did have one melanistic and two normals. Sadly, one of the normals just gradually faded away. Thankfully now, these two are starting to grow and get <laughs> and get some size on them. Let's have a look. So very unusual here in the UK. Not a snake that's in many people's grasp or collections. As mentioned, there are three populations living wild in the UK. They're not an invasive species. They were here many, many, many years ago, but all the populations here are actually introduced, released captives that have gone on to breed. Lots of arguments about whether they should be in the UK or not. They are perfectly suited to our ecosystems and cause no harm whatsoever. So not invasive, but definitely these days, the three populations are introduced. You can see how this snake climbs. It will not do anything I want it to do. And you get some idea of the size of this individual. At two years old, still a tiny, tiny little snake indeed. But look at that face. The snakes get more harmless looking. Very tactile, lovely to behold, lovely to hold. But this is probably the first time I've held one of these for many months indeed. I just let them get on with life. Feed them. Lots of rat pinkies and mouse pinkies once a week and remove anything they don't eat the next morning. They're a diurnal species really. But like most small and juvenile snakes, Asculapian snake babies, they're going to hide away a lot of the time because they've got no defence, not even size when you're this small. Anything that could manage a giant big worm would probably manage to eat a baby Asculapian. Got a bit of history. They are... In myth and folklore, very few people, as I said, have them in the UK. And there's quite a few people now trying to get hold of these. And it just pains me that they're slow, slow to grow. And I haven't been able to produce any of these for other people to enjoy. And I'm not likely to for a very long time indeed. Look at that. So it's a large rat snake, they're quite thin. Not a hugely heavy bodied rat snake. Look at that. But you know, they can attain a good two meters. That's a pretty long snake by anybody's standards and pretty much as long as any European snake manages to grow too. I've not had a great deal of success. They are a little bit fixated on the the hairless rat and pinkies, rat pinkies and mouse pinkies. But I'm gonna start doing a lot of scenting and getting these guys feeding on small furred mice because everything that eats pinky rats grows slowly anyway. I just think there's just not a lot of calcium or anything else in a tiny baby animal. We need to get them moving up and moving on especially now they have finally started sort of picking up their appetite. Look at that. Picking up their appetite 
and putting on a bit of size. Does that white cable tie on the wall irritate you guys as much as it does me? Note to self, get rid. Anyway guys, much shorter video. I just hope you've enjoyed watching this snake for a second, being introduced to the Ascalapian if it's something you've never heard of. And all I can say is apologies, the melanistic example is well and truly hidden in there. They do have a lovely pattern, a lovely iridescent. Certainly now they're getting there, they are actually getting a more adult colouring. So it's a diurnal snake that likes to climb. If you're keeping them indoors, I think you've got to go with lighting and naturalistic enclosure to show them off anything like their best. Not brightly coloured, but very subtle beauty indeed. What an absolutely wonderful species of snake that is. Only a shame. So at the moment, relatively few guys are working with this amazing animal. 